All right, fight fans, here we go. Now in the cage. Far Star Promotions is proud to present the rerounds of mixed martial arts in the lightweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Hurt Game Apparel. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Mike Bell. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing gray trunks, trimmed in white. He is training out of American Gym Boxing and 10th Planet in Costa Mesa, California. He weighed in 155 pounds. His record undefeated, one win, no losses, with that single win coming by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Anthony Gonzalez. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks trimmed in white and red. He is training out of South El Monte Boxing by way of Rosarito, Mexico. He weighed in 153 pounds. His record no wins with four losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tony Ahumada. All right, fans, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts in the lightweight division. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. Referee Mike Bell in charge of the action. He's the third man in the cage. Ding. All right, first Tony round, Ahumada ready. getting ready to take ready. on Anthony Gonzalez. Fight. Battle of 155 pounders, touch of the gloves, and here we go. Oh. Gonzalez with a straight left that changes Ahumada's face right away. Yeah, Gonzalez said he's been boxing that since he was a kid, so his hands should be way more established as these Ahumada's guys are Ahumada's digging left. to the head with lefts and rights. Not the most technical brawler, but definitely a lot of power in those shots. Nice knee from Gonzalez before he gets the fight to the, to the ground. Oh, Ahumada, Ahumada takes his back. Quickly back to his feet, lands a nice right hand. Gonzalez digs to the body, looking to create some room and does. Yeah, Gonzalez needs to establish that box, and Ahumada's just trying to make this a brawl. And he's doing a good job of it. Gonzalez appears to have the neck, lets it go, and lands a nice uppercut. Ahumada misses with the overhand right, misses with the overhand left. I think Gonzalez is starting to settle down into his range and, and free flowing. He's looking a lot smoother than the first few seconds of the fight. A mouse beginning to form under the left eye of Ahumada. Ahumada needs to keep the pressure on Gonzalez and not let him get comfortable. Oh, nice entry to the head, exit on the leg from Gonzalez, but he's in trouble now. Ahumada's laying some big right hands. He's throwing. He, he does not want to be on five. He's going for that win tonight. Gonzalez with a snapmare brings it to the mat. Looking to take his back, but Ahumada quickly, quickly ties up the guard. Smart move by Ahumada. Yeah, he's working on his high guard. He needs to use that cage to spin off. He can go for a backside arm bar. Strong right hands from Gonzalez find the ear of Ahumada. It's 10 seconds left in the fight, in the round. Excuse me. He has that arm bar, but he, I don't think he has enough time to finish it because he's stuck on the cage. Oh, end of the round. Excellent first round, back and forth battle. Okay, Jonathan, who would you give that round to? Because it was it was a lot of action, and Ahumada really put the pressure on. I'd have to give the first round to Tony Gonzalez. Based on the damage, Ahumada's eye is beginning to close. He definitely landed the more effective strikes. He's got a bump on this fight is brought to you by Sports Star MMA. I mean, by down to scrap apparel. We are Spar Star MMA, duh. Check out downtoscrap.com, one of the premier Southern California apparel companies. Down to Scrap, you can find them at World Series of Fighting. You can see them at Bellator. They've sponsored champions. 
They're offering 40% off to anybody listening to this broadcast. All you have to do is enter the promo code SPARSTAR. That's www.down2scrap.com. 40% off if you enter the promo code SPARSTAR. Let me ask you something, Matthew. Right. Are you yes, down sir. to scrap? I'm always down to scrap. These two are also Sorry. down to scrap as we are underway round two. All right, second round. You ready? You ready? Fight. I think Almada needs to really keep pushing forward. He can't let Tony Gonzalez just sit back and throw shots the way he wants to. Ahumada charges forward with a left and right that lands a nice knee. But Gonzalez digging to the body. Gonzalez definitely the more technical of the two fighters. Nice inside leg kick. Oh, nice dunk. Takes the hip and brings Gonzalez to his back. Ahumada needs to be careful. Gonzalez has arm wrapped tight around his neck and trying to get back to full guard so he can finish off the guillotine choke. But Almada's doing a good job of staying in side control. Ahumada working out a side cross, trying to get Gonzalez's arm off his neck and oh, does, nice then mount. steps over in the mount. Hip buck from Gonzalez does not remove Ahumada, who's looking to frame and then create paint. Paints a bloody picture with lefts and right hands to the side of the head of Gonzalez. Gonzalez with another bump. Looking for the sweep and he's got nice. it. Gonzalez now working in Ahumada's close guard. Big right hands find a mark. Hammer fists, rights and lefts. Gonzalez swarming here. Ahumada's doing the right thing, keeping his posture down so he can't rain those big strikes. Ahumada having a, a hard time seeing out of the left eye. Gonzalez is going to work. He doesn't want to let this one slip away right now. He has his trouble. Right, right, I think you gotta defend Bell yourself, like Blue. Mike Bell, look at Ten this. seconds to go. Blue, you have to defend. Mike Bell warning Ahumada to defend himself. He looks like he might get out of the round. Stop. And he does. Ahumada barely made it out of that round, Jonathan. Barely made it out of How that round. How you doing, round. brother? Okay. He's showing some heart. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out www.ocfightdocs.com. The Kessler Family Wellness Center. Doc Kessler has been keeping mixed martial artists in the cage for years now. Czech Congo, Michael Bisbing, Tony Kukui Ferguson. It's a who's who. You never know who you're going to run into. Carla Esparza. Doc Kessler's even offered to help fix my knee. If you're in the Orange County area, there is not a better doctor for any of your any of your health needs. Doc Kessler, they have the, the highest technology, the top of the line technology. They're looking to keep everybody healthy. Make sure you check them out. www.ocfightdocs.com. Round three underway. Gonzalez starts with a straight left, but Ahumada's still coming forward, bringing that pressure. He has the arm under his neck. He can have a possible guillotine right here. Switching into a ninja choke. Now he's back to the guillotine. But Gonzalez pops out. Nice move. Now he needs to posture up so he can rain down some decent, some good ground and pound here. He has in a good spot. They both look a little tired here, so they need to get action working. Mike Bell wanting to stand them up. So Gonzalez needs to get to work. He needs to win this round. Tony Ahumada might be a little too tough for his own good. He's eating a lot of damage right here. Mexican fighters are known for having heart. Tremendous, tremendous hearts. And Tony Ahumada's in that mold. 
But Tony Gonzalez is landing big lefts and rights. Yes. Ahumada needs to get this back to the feet any way possible. Seems like he's just holding on to dear life right now. Tony Gonzalez firmly in control of this fight. Just establishing his posture and ground and pound right now. Gonzalez coming to close to landing some elbows there. More left and right hands. Now digging to the to the rib cage. Ahumada in all sorts of trouble now. Gonzalez needs to stand to his feet and really push his head into the cage and he can drown. drown. He can throw harder punches and really finish this fight. Less than 10 seconds left on the OC fight doc clock. <laughs> Tony Gonzalez finishes in top position and looks to have cruised to a unanimous decision win. Yeah, this was a good fight. Almada was game, but it seemed that he ran out of gas in the late, in, in the late round. So as the crowd gives it up, that was an amazing high action, high paced fight by these lightweights. My partner, Jonathan Higgins, making a week in the I'm about to talk to him. Tony Gonzalez is the coach, veteran, 10th planet, jiu-jitsu instructor, Casey Halstead. It was a great performance tonight. We saw ground, we saw great strikes, good takedowns, and just three rounds of hard-fought action. Good fight, brother. We were just waiting on the the judges to get their scorecards turned in as Jim Fitzgerald makes his way to the cage for our official ring announcement. We'd like to just shout out the OC Fight Doc for bringing you the fight clock. Fun first round. And special shout out to Tony Padilla for putting on another great night of fights. Star Star Promotions, one of the best California amateur productions that you can go to. Support your local fighters. Special shout out to JT Media, theclipreport.com, the OC Fight Doc, Doc Kessler, for all your injuries and your fighter needs to keep you healthy, keep you going strong. Oh yeah. As Mike Bell to the center of the cage, calls the fighters over for our official announcement. Gentlemen, here we go. Great fight, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our scorecards. We have our decision. Judge at ringside, Mike Beltran scores about 29 to 28, while both judges ringside, Don Howard and Chris Crail scored about 30 to 27 in favor of our winner. By unanimous decision, the red corner, Anthony. Gonzalez! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, from theclinchreport.com, Jonathan King. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner. Where are Anthony Gonzalez's fans out there? So I guess we're gonna look this way. Great win, tough fighter. What was the plan going in? You know, the plan was just to stand up with him, use my jab, stri outstrike him. He's a tough fighter, came in pretty quick, threw a lot of overhand rights, overhand lefts, caught me by surprise a couple times, and then, uh, you know, I was just listening to my coaches, Tony and Casey over here, uh, just giving, giving me some good advice. Got myself in trouble a couple times, but uh, just kept my ears open and kept my head level and got out of trouble. Absolutely. It, 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 early on in the fight, you seemed to have a little bit of problems with with dealing with his bull rush, but you seemed to get comfortable as the fight went on. 
You took him down, you controlled the fight on the ground. Was that the plan? Uh, not necessarily, but we trained for everything. You know, we, uh, we spent hours in the gym, day in, day out, getting in there and uh, practicing for those situations. Sometimes we don't want to be in those situations, but you end up there. Now, what's it mean to get a winner in front of all your people right here? I just want to thank uh, my coaches over here, Tony Ferguson, uh, Casey Hellstad, Tony! Tyler Wombles is in the, in the building. It's his birthday tonight, too. I want to thank all my family for coming out. Uh, thank my fiance. You know what? It's, uh, it's awesome being in here. And I want to thank Spar Star and all the fans for coming out. You guys are awesome. We're we going to see you in the Spar Star cage again? Hopefully. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with your winner, Anthony Gonzalez. Great win.